Hi, this is Sativa with a tech tip for teachers. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Magic Move transition in Keynote on iPad. Let's get started. So when beginning to use Magic Move, you can edit an existing slide deck that you have or create a new presentation. I will start by creating a new presentation. I will use just basic black for today. And I will just have the title slide. So let me just move this up out of the way for now. I would like to have my students sort animals based on their habitat. So I'll begin by adding some animals to my slide. Okay, now that I have a series of animals, I want the students to think about where they live. So I'll give them the choices of grouping them perhaps by animals that live in the ocean, that live on a farm, and animals that live in the forest. I would give them some time to either write or think with a partner, think to themselves, and then I would include the animation. I've decided I actually don't want to have my title, so I'm going to remove that. And to use Magic Move, you are going to tap the slide on the side and transition. We're gonna add a transition and click Magic Move. After you've selected it up on the top right corner, you will click Done. And in order to use Magic Move, it duplicates the slide. That is where you will indicate where things will move to. Once the slide is duplicated, now you get to move things around to where you want them to be. So I'll make the ocean on the right side, the forest in the middle, farm on the left. So while you're moving your objects, you can also change their size. Once I've organized mine, I can show you what that might look like. So we can go and preview this, going back to the previous slide and tapping play. Tap your screen. Now I noticed that these two actually hadn't moved. They're in their original places. So I will just move them a bit to add to the animation. And then if you wanted to move things perhaps to more life size, or at least, not life size, but proportionate to other animals, just grab the corners to move them. So let's go back and check that transition again. So I tap play, tap the screen again, and you can see things move, they changed location, and they changed size. You could, of course, make this more interesting by adding colors. And that is how you use Magic Move.